today education is very expensive. So today is Sunday. My kids are no more toddlers, old enough to understand. I decided to update my editing app. I'm hoping it rains. I wake up, I wake up by 4.30. But because of the class. It is 7 o'clock. I just realized I didn't have those. No, it's taking me home and it was when I spoke to my mother-in-law. She said, "My daughter's home was worse because she was rolling on the floor." We have a minimum into the plan. Minimum is ten thousand naira every month for five years. It's not much. It's not much. It's not much. Okay, now. Okay, look at how education is. Today, education is very expensive. No matter how you, you try to do, you must pay. But God willing, everybody is here, and this is a private school. All of you are here, we went to a public school. You didn't have this kind of privilege. I feel like you guys are tainted to one side. Let me try that question. Yeah, I think this is better. Welcome to a new day. Today is actually Sunday, the 17th of March. And the last time I actually turned on this camera was like on Friday, which was the 15th. We had a PTA meeting at my children's school. So it wasn't as if I even vlogged the whole Friday or the going to the PTA meeting or anything like that. I just caught a particular clip because I wanted to talk about it and get you guys opinion on that particular subject. But that will be maybe sometime in the future. So today is Sunday, it is the 17th of March, it is like, what's the time, um, 7.42, I, uh, I am attempting Sunday Reset again, not as a content, but I just wanted to see how it goes because I have noticed over time that anytime I take a day, probably the first day of the week, maybe like Sunday, like Monday, depending on which one I chose as a follow for the new week. You know, most times the way my week will went kind of influences which day I set as my first day of the week. Sometimes it's Sunday, sometimes it's Monday, depending on the mood and the activities and everything. So I really noticed that any time I take like Sunday or Monday to like do a reset, like plan ahead for the week, both physically and mentally, I tend to be more productive than when I just go with the flow. But now the issue is I, I find it difficult following up with the Sunday reset or the weekly reset because it's not just me. I have kids. My kids are no more toddlers, so it's difficult to kind of really control what they do. But they're not old enough to understand why I need to prepare for the week ahead of time, right? But anyway, I just came in here to say good morning. I, want, I came here to say welcome to a new day and I came in here to what again? Uh, I don't know if it's gonna be a new vlog. It might be the beginning of a new vlog. It might not We have plans of things we want to do today. What is it that I wanted to do today? Let me even check because I wrote down some of the things I wanted to do I decided to update my editing app early because um, the network is faster now so that I can see if I let me see if I can go out to the laptop to enable me edit videos today I don't know if that's gonna be possible I'm still contemplating that I'm not really sure where I want to go um, there's this fast food close to my place not too far from my place a walking distance I am thinking of going there by 10 a.m. To see if I can get work done from that place, but I don't know the possibility because I heard they removed all their sockets because people have been doing that. I actually plan to have breakfast there. Um, I actually plan to have breakfast there this morning so that it doesn't look as if I just went there to just go and work. I'm actually buying something, but I don't know how that's going to work. Good morning, welcome to a new day. It is Monday, the 18th of March. I'm getting the kids ready for school. Like I'm preparing the things that they need for school Why I'm trying to get um, update my um, editing app so that when I go out later in the day I won't start wasting time trying to get that done I'm getting my pedicure done 
it was on my to-do list yesterday but I wasn't able to do it so I'm doing it this morning before I get on with work hey guys I'm just coming back now this is like uh, <coughs> 12.01, it's already, it's already midday, is it? It's already noon. Yeah, it's already noon. The weather is looking as if it's about to rain. I'm hoping it rains. I'm hoping it rains because it rained last, it rained yesterday afternoon. But by the time the rain, by the time it stopped raining, the entire place had become so hot. As like, this rain that has been falling feels like it's not really doing much. It's not really doing much when it comes to the heat. It's supposed to be cooling down the entire place, but it's not. I had to flip to the house this morning. That was the things, one of the things I was supposed to do yesterday, but I could not do, I couldn't do it yesterday because it started raining and then, when it started raining, because I was not with the car, I didn't want to go out with the kids and then we get stuck um, as a result of rain. So we ended up not going out yesterday, so I wasn't able to flip to the house. Good morning, you guys. It is. Uh, 6 or 10 uh, 6 it is 10 minutes past 6 a.m. and you guys um, I've been awake for like an hour 15 minutes an hour 30 minutes now because I woke up I wake up by 4 30 and then I lazy around till like 4 45 before I get off the bed I just finished uh, having my shower just the kids are taking their baths getting ready for school I'm trying to prepare breakfast and what they are going to take to school and then I'm also trying to get work done at the same time you guys like it is not easy the gen is on so i'm trying to see what i can do with the laptop now that the gen is on because uh by the time the kids are leaving for school we're going to turn off the train yeah it is uh tuesday yep it should be tuesday the tuesday the 19th of march you guys my focus today being tuesday is just to get work done that is where i'm focusing all of my attention on getting work done that is what i'm doing today nothing more okay i'm going to make lunch later in the day uh i'm going to see if my husband can help me get the things i will need to make lunch with because i don't want to leave this house i don't want to do any other thing aside from edit writing and editing videos yeah the journey is earned so the this uh this thing this part of the clip <clears throat> this part of the vlog might be very noisy as well as yesterday's morning vlog. I just made myself a cup of coffee. I've restricted myself to having one cup of coffee a day because of the cost. Not because I don't want to take coffee, but because of the cost, you guys. The cost of coffee. I just can't wait to start trying out different brands of coffee, you guys because I'm not sure I'm ever going to give up coffee, no matter how expensive it gets. I might change the brand, but I'm not going to stop drinking coffee. Jenny, it's 7 o'clock, oh. It's 7 o'clock. Hello you guys, this weather is terribly hot, even though, let me hear myself, even though I have the windows open and I have the door open, I'm not supposed to leave this door open because I fleet this place yesterday because of a mosquito, but right now I had to open the door because of how hot the place is. Anyway, I've been downstairs since uh, for like maybe over about two hours now trying to read. I said I was going to spend the better part of the day writing and editing videos but you guys <laughs> I just realized you know how you have bits and pieces of notes here and there that you're going to use to put together um, an article or a commentary something you want to talk about I just realized I didn't have those good morning good morning you guys welcome to a new day it is Friday the 22nd of March <laughs> Friday the 22nd of March this is like what time this is like around 9 a.m. I'm not sure I'm not sure what time it is 
we are on the road okay 9 40 a.m we are on the road we are going to the market you guys i have so much work to do today so much work to do today but if we don't go to the market today uh we will not have anything to eat with the, during the weekend and i don't like going to the market on saturday uh because it's uh, laundry i have to do laundry and you know yeah do cleaning all of that. one or two things uh i have here after this show okay in a few minutes and i won't waste time i will come i'll come out and see so that we'll, we'll push this thing seriously <laughs> Money no day. Money no There is no money. Bala Blue is taking the wrong money. <laughs> so we are headed to the market and um, when we come back I need to prepare soup for the weekend and then we we'll get back into all of the activities we have planned out for the weekend. Your confidence makes me confident. I could love you for a long time, baby. I've never seen you hesitate. That's when I start to wonder. If maybe you met me in another life. Cause how you love me so right. How you love me so right. Like maybe you met me in some time before. Cause you love me so sure. guys good afternoon i think it's afternoon already oh this is 11 57 so it's almost noon just three minutes to 12 o'clock and we're back from the market we've been back for like an hour thereabouts and um you guys i don't even know what i want to do right now I have no idea what I want to do. I The plan is to prepare soup. I bought okra. I want to make okra soup. Since we don't have electricity, I don't want to make um, lots lots of soup. I just wanted to make just very little because the last one I made <laughs> almost went bad. The last soup I made, I prepared the soup like today. And then uh, when we turned on the generator, I put it in the freezer and then we turned off the generator later in the morning. We still on the generator. By evening, the soup was like changing taste, so I don't want to take that risk anymore. So since um, today is Friday, I wanted to make soup for today and tomorrow. I don't know if it's going to take us through uh, the weekend, like maybe two, through Sunday. I don't know the possibility, but at least today and tomorrow. So I'm making okra and obono. Last time I went to the market, I bought ugu. You guys, I and my daughter ended up having, you know, like stooling. We ended up having stomach upset for like days and she adopted today i'm still having stomach upset from eating that vegetable in short i didn't even know it was a vegetable it was when i spoke to my mother in law she was like oh that new you know like fresh vegetable is just coming into the market so um it's some people are is it allergic to it do i use the word allergic to it like it kind of upsets upsets some people's stomach that is not everybody that can eat it because I used that uh, vegetable to prepare actually soup. My husband ate, my son ate, they were okay, but I and my daughter, which my daughter's home was worse because she was rolling on the floor, she was crying, she was in pain. So when I was talking to my mother-in-law about it, she was like, oh, that, did I buy Ogo recently? I said, I was like, yeah, I bought pumpkin leaf. And she was like, that's the cost. I was surprised. I've never had anything like that. And you know, the funny thing is that a lot of people will be experiencing this, but they wouldn't even know what is causing it. I was shocked like I was really really shocked so today I went to the market I'm seeing pumpkin leaf everywhere and I'm like I am not buying pumpkin leaf until it starts raining properly by then I know okay they've you know the first they've done the first they've harvested the first batch harvested the second batch maybe by the time they're harvesting the third batch that would be okay for consumption so I just bought Oziza that is um hot leaf 
which is not even much and it's, you don't even get a tender one in the market but I'm just going to manage it like that to make okra and uh, ogbono soup. I just want to make very little pot of soup that we can have today and tomorrow. So right now I think I'm just going to go to the kitchen, um, wash and steam the meat and the fish that I bought so they don't go bad. I would like to prepare the soup let's say by 5 p.m. Yeah, I'll just get the things I need to make the soup ready and then just keep them. Then by 5 p.m., I'll go ahead and make the soup so that we can eat it for dinner. Um, then get back into editing because you all, by Monday, I think I'm going to go do something about my hair because it's already too bad. Look at it's losing me if it's the back of my hair. Everything is coming off, you know, so I need to go do something about my hair this uh, by Monday. So I need to make sure that I have videos up uh for at least i know i want to make sure i have videos i have a vlog going up today by 9 p.m i decided to set my vlog my videos for 9 p.m because people can watch it when they are relaxed you know because most of my videos are more of a relaxation video so when you want to go to bed you can just relax watch it probably is the last thing you watch before you go to bed it can, it can get you thinking it can kick start you know it can just make you it can just kind of um inspire you to start you know thinking about something before you go to bed and for some people who wake up in the morning and the first thing they do is to, to go through their you know social media go through youtube and stuff like that when they wake up in the morning my video is one of the first videos they see does that make sense to you that's why i thought it's better because i know that for me during the day when i'm busy going about when people upload video i don't really click on it then i usually click probably late in the night or early hours of the morning and I felt that would be the best time to be uploading my video so that people can click on it late in the night or early hours of the morning whichever one they prefer so anyway yep guys I keep saying it the older I get the more beautiful I, I become the older I get the more beautiful I become